Okay, I've got 253 divided by 4. So, I've, using Dean's, I've made the number 253. You can see two hundreds, five tens, and three units. And I'm dividing by 4, so I need to split that amount into four groups. And when we're dividing, we know that those four groups have to be four equal groups. So if I was to move that 100 to there, and that 100 to there, then I'd be a bit stuck, because I can't make any 100s out of what I've got left. So we wouldn't have equal groups, so we wouldn't have divided that accurately. So I'm not going to put any 100s there, so what I am going to do is write 0, and then what I'm going to do, 0 times 4 is 0, 2 minus 0 is still 2, and I'm going to bring the 5 down. So I'm bringing the 5 tens down, but really what I'm actually doing here is breaking those 200s up into 10s. So rather than 200s, we can split those up so that we've got, you can see, well you can't quite see because they're all a bit um, close together, but if we split our 100s up into 10s, we have 25 10s. Now we can start sharing those 25 10s, so let's do that. Just as um, in simple divisions, we might do dots and circles here. We can just share those tens out. And we have to remember that we need the same amount in each because we need to make equal groups. So altogether we've got 25 tens that we're splitting between four. Now that's five in each. I can go one, two, three. There's another four. But if I put this 10 into this group, then we won't have um, groups of equal sizes. So we've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six. Tens that have been shared out. So altogether we've shared out six times four because there's six and there's four groups. So altogether we shared out six times four equals 24. But if we subtract those, that tells us that there's one 10 that we've knocked out out. And if we bring the three units down, we can see what I'm actually doing. I'm not um, bringing the three units down. I'm breaking that 10 up, that one 10 that I've got left over up into 10 units. So then we can start sharing these out. And I can see I've got 5 left, so I can see that remembering there has to be the same amount in each group, I can't do that, I have to leave this one spare, I have to leave it as a remainder. So, when it comes to the units, I've shared out three, so altogether I've shared out three times four, three, six, nine, twelve, and I'm going to have to move this up a bit more. So I've shared out 3 times 4, which is 12, and then I've got 1 left. So 253 divided by 4 is 63, because we, you can see that we've shared those out into equal groups, and we've just got that 1 um, left over. So our answer is 63 remainder 1.